All right, so now we've talked about how uh, some of the problems that come can come in some of the error that can be introduced uh, through addition. Now let's talk about subtraction. A and this uh, you should realize uh, by the end of this, uh, well, by the time we talked about everything, this is the biggest problem, um, is, is the problems that come in, the numerical, uh, the imprecision that comes into play because of subtractive operations. And this, uh, this particular problem is lovingly called uh, subtractive cancellation. And if we look at an example, uh, we can see what happens. Let's see. Let's let's get some numbers here, uh, where we can really see really see this happen. Um, excuse me. Let me go uh, grab some numbers. All right, I've got some numbers, uh, and and we're going to use zero point seven six four. 2 uh, times 10 to the third, and we're going to subtract from that 0 0.7641 times 10 to the third, and we're going to produ uh, perform that subtraction. And as we do, we can see we get 1 here, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, well, we started out here, we had four digits of precision. Fantastic. Okay, now uh, what happens is we have, we're going to normalize this, and so we're going to have 1, that was times 10 to the third, so we're going to have 1.000 zero, zero, uh, zero times 10 to the 1. That is what we're going to have as our result, which um, these digits here really aren't significant. A and so what we have now uh, is, is, is a problem where we used to have four significant digits and now we're down to only one. So that is the problem of subtractive cancellation.